Hello, Cornelius Gold. I'm back with video number three here in your uh, series on the Omni 11 and Chameleon technology within the Omni 11. And last time we went through a quick overview of the multiband AGCs and what some of the basic controls do and some of the early concepts of the Chameleon technology that's employed um, amongst the multiband AGC. So now we're going to talk a little bit uh, on this video about the advanced controls and conceptually what is going on in the multiband AGCs that are, that's also part of the chameleon tech that you don't see at all on the front panel. So uh, on the advanced controls, if you open up the advanced tab on the multiband AGC, you'll see that each of the individual bands has, have controls that you can adjust and tailor each uh, AGC in its own way to your programming content. Each one has its own gate threshold, um, attack and release, and makeup gain. And makeup gain in this case works the same way as it does in the wideband AGC section that we talked about in video number one. So if for some reason you didn't see that, definitely go back to video number one and you'll get a better idea of what's happening there. There's a couple of things in here um, that are not quite in the wideband. One of which is this control defeat RTP. Now in the Omnia 6s you had and a couple of options for how the RTP section works. And RTP is, is, is what happens whenever there's silence in your programming content. And what happens in silence, um, there's a couple of modes. You can either have it uh, freeze, or you can have it uh, slowly creep to a predetermined level, or you can have it move quickly. On the Omni 11, what we did for the, what speed it is, rather than having just static selections like in the Omni 6, we give you a control that's RTP speed that's continually adjustable. The lower the number, the slower it's going to creep in, in, down to its level. The higher con the control, the faster it'll move. And um, so that's, oh, and also you have the RTP level, which is where you define what its resting point is going to be. And this preset, it's minus six, so whenever they're silenced, the multiband AGC sections, the individual AGCs will rest at minus six. You can vary this around. Each of one of the bands allows for you to set a different RTP level across the board. So you can be clever with it all and create some kind of a dynamic noise reduction feature if you want. If your format has a lot of noisy tape, you can set it so when it gates on the high band rather than bringing up tape hiss, it just rests down at uh, some level to, to make the tape hiss less annoying and if it's bothering you. Or any other creative features you can have. It's basically to mitigate, you know, unwanted things from being brought up. Um, one thing that's on the, the, recurrent, the current releases of Omni 11 software is the ability to defeat that RTP, which I just did by tapping it here. What that means is that when it's, the RTP is defeated, the default mode that's going to happen when the gate's uh, threshold has been exceeded, or is when the audio is below the gate threshold, rather, is that the, uh, the AGC would just freeze there. And rather than creeping anywhere or moving up or down, it doesn't move around, it just sits there until some audio uh, either ungates it and causes it to increase the gain or or how loud or level ungates it and it moves. So that's the uh, the two features you have here. You can either defeat it or, or use it. Um, let's see. So those are the uh, basic controls right there on the uh, Omni 11's multiband AGC section when you're in advanced tab. Now, um, the other part of the chameleon technology that we talked about in the multiband AGC is something that you don't see, and that is how it goes about managing uh, program content density within the multiband AGCs. It does it in a very similar way to what's happening in the wideband AGC, except it's happening in the individual multiband stages. And one of the things that happens within the multiband and the wideband AGC sections of the um, Omni 11 is that it has a very unique way of sensing RMS energy. Now, in the past, uh, what would typically happen in the analog world is your RMS engine in the chips would be some uh, single time constant network that would just run away in the chip there and it'll calculate RMS based on that. In the analog world, the problem there is if you had a really complicated network like what I had in the Audio Chameleon, where there's a whole network of time constants that are all networked together, what's going on in that uh, single time constant RMS section would never really match what's going on in the complicated network. So that would cause the RMS engine to create uh, unwanted gain reduction when you really wanted or, in, or would not get, have enough gain reduction when you needed more because what it's doing is very different from what the multiple smart time constant systems are, up, are, are doing. So, um, so in a way you're kind of like trying to make 
orange juice out of apples, which just won't work. So what we did in the um, Omni 11 was use the uh, smarts that's in the um, multiband AGC section because it is a computer. I mean, most of these audio processors are com computers. So there's, we're able to write code in there that's making all these decisions as to what to do with the audio when this condition happens, when that condition happens, when this happens, when that happens. And since it's all managing the, the multiple time constants, we can also derive uh, information on RMS from that, which is much more accurate than any single network could provide to you. So with that in mind, the RMS energy of the multiband AGCs becomes more consistent. We can build more of it, which means you, can, you, have, you don't have to use as much limiter activity downstream to maintain you know, strong dial presence on the dial which also means it's less fatiguing or less dense. So it's a, great way to, it's a great way to set up your audio for the next stage of processing, which happens with the limiters and clippers. And that's where we'll pick up next in the Omni 11 overview and the Chameleon technology. And there's still more Chameleon tech to go yet, so we'll talk more in the next video on that.